Around two and a half years ago, a foster care worker from the Midlands got in touch with the IWGB to have a conversation about unionization. She, like many in the profession, had had her already low wages cut against her will, did not have any employment rights, and was mistreated by the local authority for whom she worked. When I went to meet her, the IWGB had only been around for a few years, had a membership of less than 1,000, and was unionizing mainly cleaners and couriers. I didn't know a thing about foster care. The union agreed that if we could get a decent showing for an inaugural meeting, that we would launch a new branch for foster care workers. We did get that decent showing and launched the branch in September 2016. Since that time, membership among foster care workers has exploded, with on average more than two per day joining since we started representing them. And they now constitute nearly half of the IWGB's membership. In the past couple of years, the union has held loads of meetings across the country, hearing the stories of abuse and mistreatment suffered by foster care workers. We've heard of the hardship caused by already miserly salaries being cut even further, of how the lack of whistleblowing protection leaves foster care workers in perpetual fear of speaking out, how the lack of paid holidays has good carers burning out, how the opinion of everyone in the team surrounding the child is valued except that of the foster care worker, and of how a corrupt and unaccountable regime of kangaroo courts deregistering foster care workers has turned lives upside down. When the workers in the sector are not unionized, not covered by employment legislation, and not regulated by an independent body, these outcomes are hardly surprising. The main objectives of the foster care workers' branches of the IWGB have always included obtaining a central register managed by an independent regulator, workers' rights, and a voice. And today we're taking a massive step towards achieving these objectives. This APPG has already heard at length about the problems arising from a lack of protection, the lack of an independent regulator, and the lack of a voice for foster care workers. Having identified the problem, we now need this APPG to start focusing on the solution. The IWGB is therefore presenting the proposal for a regulatory body, workers' rights, and a collective voice. The draft of this proposal was put out to consultation and our members responded in force. Many of the suggestions arising out of the over 1,500 answers to seven questions by nearly 300 people have been incorporated into the proposal. Not only have we outlined our proposal, I think we're going to hand out copies now, as from shortly, as with the help of Camille Ibbotson, written an extensive and detailed note for civil servants, instructing them on how this proposal should be translated into legislation. The IWGB proposal calls for a regulatory body, the Foster Care Workers' Council, which will be governed by representatives of foster care workers, employers, and independent stakeholders. The Council will be responsible for accrediting training, registration, and deregistration of foster care workers. These functions will be taken out of the hands of local authorities and IFAs. Therefore, once a foster care worker has completed the accredited training, they can apply to the Council to be added to the register of foster care workers. If they meet the standards set by the regulatory body, they will be added to the register and can then apply to foster for one or more local authorities without having to go through each local authority's training and registration process. There will be a grandfathering clause in our proposal so that all foster care workers already registered with a local authority or IFA at the time the legislation comes into force will, uh, will be automatically added to the register. When allegations arise against a foster care worker, these will be sent to the regulatory body who will decide whether there is enough evidence supporting the allegations for them to be taken forward. Falsifying evidence will be a criminal offense. <laughs> Only those cases which meet a certain evidentiary threshold will be taken forward by way of referral to a foster care workers tribunal. This will be, operationally in, this will be an operationally independent tribunal chaired by a legally qualified person who will decide whether or not to deregister the foster care worker. Foster care workers can appeal against the tribunal's rulings and appeals would go to the employment appeal tribunal. This system would constitute the end of the local authority kangaroo court. Mm -hmm. 
The IWGB proposal would extend the workers' rights associated with LIMB workers, the intermediate category between employees and people in business on their own account, to foster care workers. Importantly, this would mean trade union rights, paid holidays, protection for whistleblowing and against discrimination, amongst others. The proposal also calls for a retainer to be paid between placements, suspensions during allegation procedures to be paid, and would make it unlawful for a local authority or IFA to dismiss a foster care worker on the basis that they are unfit to practice unless this is based on a finding of the foster care workers' tribunal. As LIMB workers are taxed as self-employed, these proposals would not alter the tax regimes applicable to foster care workers. Finally, the IWGB proposal would establish a system of sectoral collective bargaining, where representatives of employers and representatives of unions representing foster care workers would meet regularly to discuss and agree on how the industry is run. This would include things like pay, terms and conditions, best practice, etc. Independent members would be part of the negotiations in order to break a tie, and local authorities and IFAs could only provide inferior pay or terms and conditions in extremely narrow circumstances. This proposal, along with John Hendy QC's note on the foster care workers' bill, is the closest foster care workers have come to date to fixing what we all know is a badly broken system. We now need to get on to figuring out how to implement it. <laughs>